Hello. <laughs> Are you good? I Welcome so. okay. <laughs> to Back in My Day. Cheers. Possibly the last episode for the season. I thought you were gonna say I, I thought you were gonna say last episode period. I was like, last did you, episode. Did ever? you just leave the podcast without yeah. telling me? Um <laughs> oh, shit. All right, all right, this I'm is your walk off. This. You can't walk off at the beginning. Oh, sorry. I'll walk off at the end, guys. Because I can now title it "Maggie Walks Off." Oh, so there's more clickbait. There's more <laughs> clickbait. Today, I got to see the fruits of our labor with like the last episode that we did. It was like called "We Workshopped on the Podcast." Maggie gets pregnant. Aren't you glad I didn't put that as the video title? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't even. You didn't remember workshopping it? No. We did. <laughs> Why would I be pregnant? You got Did you watch our last episode? Ah. Uh, Maybe not. Yeah. No, yeah, we workshopped it and you're like I asked everybody I'm like what's the better clickbait? Maggie loses her job or Maggie gets pregnant. Everyone's like Maggie gets pregnant. I was like Well, Maggie losing her job is working <laughs> a lot better than Maggie's pregnant. Yeah, so you want to talk about that? Oh yeah, all <laughs> <laughs> I got lots of, you know, messages today. My mother even come up comes up to me. She goes, Did your mom really no, what, is, Bonnie? what is this about? And I was like, um, it's called clickbait. I would like to issue a formal apology to Bonnie. <laughs> Bonnie, I'm I'm sorry. I didn't mean to to clickbait that hard. But what was the clickbait for this one already? We didn't just come up with something worse. <laughs> Didn't we just say something? Where I forgot what we just said. What did we just say? We just said there's a clickbait title for this podcast, Dre. Maggie. Maggie walks off. Maggie walks off. Yeah, I'll, maybe Maggie quits the podcast, and then everyone. Maggie pulls a Trisha. <laughs> yeah, Ma- that's just Maggie pulls a Trisha. Like, did this really happen? <laughs> did- <laughs> who's Trisha? <laughs> yeah, who who the hell is Trisha? And you're like, ah, welcome. How you doing, Maggie? Everything all right? I'm on top of the goddamn world. Yeah, hell yeah. You sit on top of that world. I am. (laughs) You got hungry one day? (laughs) Is that that a fat joke? I'm so fat I can't even help but eat my keyboard. No. (laughs) Fatty, fat, fat. (laughs) Oh my gosh, Risha, is that you? (laughs) If I was... (laughs) Okay, so guys, we're going to actually talk about holidays today, because since it's like, you know, December, Mm -hmm. it's Christmas time, my favorite time of the year, Mm -hmm. we're going to like talk about like what to do. Oh, we're talking about what to do? I mean, or or just like holidays in general. Okay. I feel like now for the holidays, there's definitely a little bit more of a spicy spark in the air of things to do. I think... In terms of, like, things to do, the holidays is always, like... Let's go see the tree. Let's go see lights. Let's go... That's it, right? Pretty much. I was thinking about it. I'm like, let's see some lights. Let's see a big tree. And everyone's like, that's it. Ah! Holiday season's over. Okay, but think about it, though. Get some... Did you guys have the, like, you know, like, those drive-through light shows? Yeah, I, I haven't gone to one. Because I've gone to, like, the Halloween ones. Wait, you had them when you were a kid? Yeah. I, I mean, no. For the sake of the show, I guess. <laughs> no, I definitely had them. Yeah, oh, but I... I kind of thought that was, like, a me generation type thing. No. Do you remember them, Matt? The, like, the light shows by, like, the beach? beach? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, of course. I've been to a bunch of those where you drive around the little circle and then they have the... The cylinder of lights and all the big stands, and they're all made by high school, well, students, I guess. I guess wow, like I didn't know that or whatever. Usually yeah. they have it where it's like, oh, all right, this school made this one, and then this school made this one. Oh, that's neat. No, yeah. yeah so, so well, what's going on? Your chair. So when I was, I went to, uh, I went to a few times when I was younger, maybe like I was young, but uh, when I was older, I only went to like the Halloween stuff, mm. but. Yeah, I remember the jack o' lanterns. Yeah, the we would rise walk through of the that. Jack o' lanterns. That was cool. I like that stuff. But it's like you kind of go once, and, and you're you like, "You're Phil." I yeah. get it. 
But it's also like it's a very like cute like let's say you're going like on like a a date with someone. Yeah. Like it's definitely like a cute date type thing of like doing with other people. I've gone with just my wife, and then we went together as a group of friends. The only reason I'd go again is if we're showing like new friends. Yeah. And then taking like the old people who've gone, so Mm -hmm. we could all be like. Yeah, this was here. <laughs> yes. But it's also fun because, like, sometimes each year you go, there's new things there. Yeah, like a new thing. Yeah. You'd be like, what's, what's that there? Maybe maybe <laughs> this year maybe we might get more than just, like, two things of, like, Hanukkah. Mmm. So. That's so. what I would like to talk to you about. I have never experienced Jewish culture besides coloring in a dreidel in elementary school and spinning it then bringing it home and my parents saying that's for little jewish kids (laughs) and i was like well i want to be a jew (laughs) i want to spin the dreidel you know what's really funny i really can't educate you that well (laughs) i am the biggest fakest jew you will ever meet wow all i know is you just light some candles there was eight nights. What? Why? Why do you like candles? Do you know why? Eight nights of misery. Apparently, they had no light. Mm. But well, the, they the, had light, it, for but it eight burned nights. bright. Yeah, the oil and, burned yes. for eight oh. nights, and the oil burned bright for eight nights. Yeah, that's why they're celebrating it. They're it was a Hanukkah, the Hanukkah, Jew. light the menorah. Yeah, no. you know that one. Oh Hanukkah, my God, Hanukkah. <laughs> that's an Adam Sandler yeah. one. <laughs> Put on your yarmulke, here <laughs> comes Hanukkah. That's my favorite one to play. I was, I was, for this episode, I was going to deck out this table in Hanukkah stuff as a joke. <laughs> and I was going to get you like eight little presents. Aww. And I was going to be like, I'm doing the full Hanukkah. Like a... <laughs> Dreidel condom or something? Yeah, dreidel condom. What? Yeah, condom dreidel. I'm not bagging. No, no. I don't Mm-mm. think you could even. You can't get me to buy any condom for Maggie in the world ever. I'm like, nope. Oh, you. Why you, you handle- want me to have unprotected? I'm <laughs> not your dad. You want the title of the, the <laughs> to become the title of the last video? <laughs> the alternate title, I should say, oh. to be true. Yeah, it's still the audio title. Alex refuses to get me condom. What? Where did my Christmas dot go? <laughs> we had a little dot resembling Christmas in the corner. Where hath it gone? Every time an angel something. Every time an angel queefs, a man gets his wings. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> it's actually quest. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. That's what you were saying all day on Sunday. Can you... Can- I'm sorry. This is already going off the rails. This is a holiday. <laughs> you know why it's off the rails? Because you're not in. We're not in Christmas clothes. If we were in Christmas, that's not a Christmas outfit. I don't know. Imagine what that... I just like whipped it out. Just Christmas <laughs> things. Yeah. That's like Taylor Swift clothes. Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, you know what? I am T Swift. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> the perfect moment. Bruh. No. So. <laughs> If we were in like Christmas full like decked out, I think we'd be more in the Christmas spirit. I'm but always this is why we're talking spirit. about quests. <laughs> you got your red nails. Not yours. Mine. <laughs> Mine. Hanako. I want to be a hand model. So uh okay. growing up, what was your holiday experience? Because I was under the impression that you were raised Jewish. We were raised both. So I mean Rest in peace, back when my grandfather was alive, there was definitely much more of a stronger side to the Judaism in the family. Uh-huh. And, um, <laughs> like, we would, what, like, once in during, like, Hanukkah time, we would, like, take our trip into Brooklyn, go to his apartment, mm-hmm. light some candles. I would get lots of money. That's pretty much it. That, that was sounds awesome. The extent, no. I would like to like I like candles only on my birthday, and I get money never. <laughs> yeah, a lot of money sounds great. Yeah, a lot of money sounds awesome. Christmas money is not often, bro. You like no. gift cards are new. Like even when I was a teenager, a lot of the time it was like you're not gonna get gift cards. You're gonna get 
uh, a toy. You're going to get socks. That you're going to get a t-shirt. You're going to get like stuff you don't really need or want. But money was never usually on the table. Unless it's like your uncle who doesn't know you at all. And he's like, I got you. I got you just 20 bucks or some crap like that. But my uncle, all he ever gave me growing up was books. Like textbooks for classes I wasn't in. <laughs> yes. What? Why? Because he was a, a scholar. He was very, <laughs> I'm going to buy you books and you're going to be so well read. And I was like, whoop. <laughs> I'm dyslexic. I don't know how to read. <laughs> yeah. I think he bought me Catching the Rye one year. He's like, well, you're really going to like this book. I'm like, I'm never going to read this book. That book sucks. That book is not great, bro. Is no. that the... I wouldn't have shot John Lennon over that book. Nope. Okay. That's what happened. You, you re- Do you remember that, Maggie? That that's the reason that John Lennon was murdered was because... The person yeah. felt the book was speaking to him, and he yeah. had to kill John Lennon because he felt that kill he was John a phony. Lennon. Yeah, that, I got that I close. I killed up. Paul. I killed Paul. I buried Paul. That was from Sergeant Pepper's. You know the Beatles, yeah? yeah. You know John Lennon? Yeah. You know he was shot? Yeah. Well, now you know why. <laughs> so what? That that was it. You went there to your grandpa's place, and that was the Jewish side of it. Was like, yeah. here's some money and here's some candles. I mean, Chris, Christmas was definitely more of a bigger type of a deal because when I was really young, when I was a youngin, mm-hmm. there was family here, so we would, you know, always switch around. Family would come down, like we would all like go to one person's house. Like me and the me, Ed, Bonnie, and Ian, we would always just. Open the gifts up early in the morning. Oh, Ed Christmas would, Day? Yeah. Ed would cook. We would pack everything up, end up going over to, like, my aunt's house. So that was when I was really young. But then mm. once I hit, like, fourth or fifth grade, everything changed. Everyone moved away. Oh. It, it was. It's never been the same since. And it's still not. Like, it's still, like, trying to talk about Thanksgiving. Sure, yeah, okay, yeah, cool. why not? Like, Thanksgiving's, like, this <laughs> Off year. limits. No. Like, Thanksgiving's coming up. Or. Past. Past. Yeah. And it's just going to be me and my parents. Okay. Which. That sounds sad. Like, so, that's the thing with my family, too. Oddly enough, it's happening to me now. When I was, like, growing up, even a teenager, a lot of it was the same. Like, we'd visit both sides. Like, mm-hmm. Christmas Eve, we'd do my grandma's. Then we'd go to my We'd stop at my aunt's. We'd all do a shot of limoncello. That was like the tradition. It was so cool. And then we'd go to my grandma's, celebrate Christmas there. It'd usually end like 10, 11. We'd go into the city. We'd go to my aunt's place and be my mom's side of the family. And then we'd go home. Yeah. And then eventually it became like, okay, going to grandma's only. Then it was like, grandma's sold her building. We're not going to grandma's. And now it's just, oh, every year me and Gianna switch Christmas Eve and then Christmas Day we spend at the other side. Significantly smaller. It's it's very strange. Yeah. A lot of my family moved to Florida, North Carolina, like all these other places. And it's sad. Mm-hmm. No, big time. Cause like, I miss it, big time. It sucks because like I see like all of like my friends, like they all have like all of their families here. Yeah. And like. That's one thing that I always envied. I always wanted a big family. I always wanted a big family. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> it just became match.com. I've always wanted a big family. <laughs> <laughs> because, like, I always, like, look at them and they're always, like, they always have so much fun. There's always, like, mm. cousins to play with. And, like, I'm the runt of, I guess, runt of the family since I'm, like, the youngest one. Mm-hmm. And it, like, sucked because they all were, like, a little group. And then I was just, like, the little do-do-do-do-do. But everyone will eventually go through that change. That's the weird thing that, like, you learn as you grow up is that nothing is significantly permanent. Yes. If things change way yes. more frequently than you would assume. Mm-hmm. Like, the family dynamics, the people in the family, people come and go. Uh, like, it, it's weird. But adjusting to that and, like, figuring out what... My Christmas now being married is so different from when I was a kid, man. 
and all the families are, are spread out and all that stuff. Yes. Every family is going to eventually go through that because people are going to, oh, I have kids. I have a, a, a husband or a wife. Now we're going to do our own Christmas and stuff like that. So it's, it's just about enjoying that time and then making it with the family you do have. Yes. It's weird. 100%. It, it's very weird to see the shift and how quickly it does shift. It, yeah. Like, I mean, do I wish I was, like, a little bit older so I could, like, kind of, like, go through it at more of, like, a mature age so I, like, understood mm. it because definitely gave me some trauma. Mm. A wee little bit. No, I get that. But, like, I don't know. I feel like if I was closer in age with Ian, I think life would be a completely different story. I think so, too. I think so, too. Like, I would be a lot closer with the rest of my family, which I'm not saying that I'm not close with them, but, like, I would have more memories. Because, like, whenever all the cousins would get together, they would always talk about, like, going up to, like, my Nana's house and, like, all the stories. And I'm just like, I wasn't even a thought when that was happening. (laughs) Yeah, it's a weird concept. But I don't know. Like I said, a lot of it is like, okay, well, now... Uh, enjoy it with your family because eventually not everybody's going to have kids. Not everybody's going to do that, but you might find a partner or maybe you don't like whatever. It's just about making the holidays special in some way. I become like a little bit of a Grinch. I'm not even going to lie. I used to get like, I was a kid. I was excited about gifts. I was like, Oh, I can't wait to see what I want to know what's under the tree. And like, uh, Oh my God, I want to open <coughs> presents early. Now I'm, I'm like, I don't want, I don't want presents. Why? One, you see your family struggle and you see how they are throughout the year and you see like it's hard for them to do things and like it, it you see that across multiple family members and yeah. then they have to get gifts for everybody and, and you see the stress of that and all of a sudden I'm like I, just being with each other to some extent is fine with me. Like, we could just have a dinner, hang out, and play, like, the Wii. <laughs> yeah. And I'd be, that'd be Christmas for me. I, I, I've i I've become, like, a little bit of a Grinch. I, getting gifts for people. I love to see someone smile and get excited over a gift. But, like, getting things and all that stuff, I, I, I like, shut down now. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I guess because I'm still very young, getting... Christmas gifts were always a big thing. Mm -hmm. I think it's always funny that every year at least one of, like, (laughs) not to, you know, sound like I'm a wee little bitch, but. A wee little bitch, (laughs) yeah. (laughs) So, like, for my Christmas list, I would always, like, make them very detailed, very, like, okay, (laughs) this is is it. Here's the link. That's funny. And I think it's so funny for the past at least two years. My mother has the link is there and everything's there. And like every year, it's always like something's just like a little bit off. (laughs) Like there was these pair of shoes that I really wanted. And like my mother, she's my mother. She knows me. She knows that like I really only wear like black or white shoes. Uh She got like neon colored shoes of all different colors. And I'm like. Bonnie, the link with the link was there with the colors, and this is the one that you chose. I like that. Even <laughs> it's it's even Bonnie. Uh, she got you the wrong gift. She's not even mom anymore. It's Bonnie. <laughs> I like all the <laughs> Let's <money>. talk here. <laughs> These shoes are are not the color of an Oreo. I don't want them. <laughs> you know my preference. That is true, though. <laughs> but I mean, it's also like. With me and my family, mm. it wasn't that big of a deal with presents because it was only since, I'd say. Oh, my God. Since I was like sixth grade, seventh grade. Mm-hmm. The presents really only revolved around me. Uh, okay. So... Did, did did we fuck up pretty badly? Yeah, because it's now put this thought in my head of, oh, I can get anything that I want. Mm. You became an only child in your brain. <laughs> literally, yes. Like I will literally tell people. I was like, honestly, like I'm a, I'm practically an only child. Like, 
practically. I get, yes, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Where it's like you, you at one point where other people had like that camaraderie with their sibling, yours just kind of cut off. Yeah. And you lost that experience of getting to, mm-hmm. you know, be silly with your sibling, have fun and like grow up with. And yours is kind of just like, hey, gone. <laughs> yeah and it was like okay now you gotta now now you're you're now like you're by yourself you gotta grow up mm-hmm. and it, it also didn't help because you know Ian was seven years older than me so I grew yeah. up a way way too fast mm-hmm. and I wish I could like go back to those years of my life and be like all right slow it down yeah but you're, you're still you're still so young it's so funny to hear you talk like that because in my brain I'm like bro you're like so much younger you have that time that is true but it's also so much so weird because like my mentality is like okay you're gonna be 20 and like less than nine months no what we're in technically december now Mm -hmm. in literally six months you're gonna be 20 like we gotta we gotta get the we gotta get the moves going we gotta figure out okay in six months i will be 30 (laughs) Correct. Damn, we're gonna be a <laughs> decades. Zeros. We're in the decades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're living the true lives. Yeah, we're in the doubles. It's gonna Let's be go. We're both moving up a uh, an age bracket. Like that's insane. I'm gonna be 20 in less than six months. Oh man, hearing that is so weird. I'm gonna be 20 in six months. God, you can't even get a drink at a bar. But I already. Oh, loser! <laughs> but it feels like it feels like I'm like almost gonna be thirty, and I'm gonna be like, okay, mm-hmm. I gotta settle down in my apartment. But see, that's also a fact of like who you surround yourself with. Yes, you're surrounding yourself like you have friend groups and stuff like that. But you're around Bonnie and Ed a lot, and they're older individuals. You're around us a lot, who are, we're at very different stages mm-hmm. of life. You know, like we're we're doing careers and stuff, and you're getting into that. Like slowly building yes. into it, so you have the leveled up maturity where you're like, I want to do this, I want to settle down, I want to, but you don't need to. You have so much time. I know it's good to and it's- look laying down the blocks for it now. Fantastic. You want to make a game plan, all good, but you don't have to execute that plan anytime soon. You can enjoy. Yeah. Being in your 20s, you can enjoy early so 20s, weird. late 20s, whatever. Because it feels like I've lived that before. Like, my mm. high school years, mm. the way that I acted yeah. and the way that I did things, it was like I was literally living my 20s. Like, wow. The way that I would, you know, go out and part. Like, it, it, that's, that's, to be fair, I think that just the generations have moved it back. Because before it used to be like, college is the parties and you're going nuts. And then it became, high school is the parties. College, you better get your damn self together. Mm -hmm. But also, depending on your school, all parties. Yeah. (laughs) Different dynamics everywhere. Back to the holidays really quick. I I think I realized, I'm sorry. Oh, shit. Really? Already? Yeah. Are we at 20 or 25? 25. 25? Oh, shit. I must be talking a lot. We're having such a smooth conversation. Guys, we'll be right back. We're going to do an ad break. Much love. Mwah. It's the holiday Day season. And a loop-de-doop. And a dotty dock. Don't you want something to wrap up your cock? Well, then go Honey down God. to the bunny shop. Well, then go down to the bunny shop. He got lots of lube. <laughs> I was not thinking that that was... Lick a mass, stroke a mass. <laughs> Go down to the bunny shop. (laughs) Mix and a mingle and a jingle and beat. Woo! (laughs) That's the bunny shop. Guys, if you're interested in spicing up your love life, then for the holidays, though. For the holidays, though. (laughs) I know I will be. Good for you. But then go (laughs) to spicedsafepony.com slash bunny shop. We got tons of stuff in there. And guess what? Even if you don't have a sexual partner, you can spice things up between you and your genitalia. And your hands. And your hands. Your hands are very nice. (laughs) Maybe you need something that sounds like a flashlight. Or something that sounds like like a vibrator. (laughs) You can use... (laughs) 
coupon code Space Samboni to get some like 15% off. Wow. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Maybe. 10 to 15% off for advertiser reasons. Wow. What's <laughs> next? Well then, guess what else you can do? Listen to sex? <laughs> no! You no! <laughs> We don't, don't do We that. don't combine those two. We don't we'll we'll lose them. We don't combine those two. <laughs> no, but it's winter time and Space Samboni has a brand new winter collection. Let's look at it. Dun, dun, dun. It's, like, it's like a few things, and it's not a lot, but it's a few things. And and helping us directly helps us. Check out our winter collection. We got a new can people see? Oh, now they uh <laughs> no, they just see the man from the the other the podcast. They just see his face. They see the background. Wait, what? They, they see the man's face. They don't, <laughs> I don't see know the, what you're talking about. Do you remember man. from Live and Let Jive? They yeah. see the man's face. Oh, no. Well, if you can see on the screen, we got a brand new winter collection. We got a color black hoodie. We got a split color hoodie. We got a gamer hoodie. And we got this unique plaid one. And no. uh, it's really cool. And that one is by far my favorite. Uh, mine too. I actually ordered every one of these uh, hoodies. Whoa. I ordered them all because I want to have our collection. Oh my God. Can we make footy pajamas? Footy. I don't think so, but we can make like matching for, pajamas for like a toy like review set or pajamas. <laughs> I can't wait to watch Christmas movies. And then we also got this. It's a Food for Thoughts one that Bridget did. And Bridget's super Bridget. cool. And she did that. She worked really hard on this design. So. Definitely check out our winter collection. Check out our merch. Everything you do on the shop uh, helps us. It helps us very much. Uh, yeah. We also have a comedy album on here. Sorry to make interrupt you. I just said, yeah. No, before I, I definitely interrupted you. I apologize. Oh. We also got a comedy album on here. Oh, that's some really nice moves. Here. Yeah. We got really nice grooves. It's our comedy album. And if uh, you get it, we give you a signed copy. Signed copy of the comedy album. A whole bunch of stuff. Can I be a stand-up comedian on it? What? It's music. Yeah. <laughs> if you uh, want to be a singer, you want to sing? You could sing on it. I want to be a stand-up comedian, actually. I'm like, let me spit some jokes out. All Go right. Ahead. We'll just have a song where you can <laughs> spit jokes. Yeah, it'll be a spoken word Your song. Your mom. That, that's the joke that's going to sell hard. <laughs> All right, guys. Hard. Uh, please check out our shop. Check out our merch. Uh, this is our merch. This is not our our best merch, but it's out there. And then we got the hat. I like the hat. This is embroidered. And mm -hmm. this hat's embroidered, it's too. It's a nice embroidery. All right, guys. Nice. Check out our shop. Much love to you guys. We'll see you back at the podcast. <laughs> Welcome back to the podcast. <laughs> ah! Maybe I will be storming out on this it's one. It's the holiday season. <laughs> Yo, bro, stop being so aki. <laughs> I don't know why I became Gilbert Godfrey. <laughs> Oh my god, what's your favorite Christmas movie? Rip to the King. The Santa Clauses. Um, no, Jingle All the Way. What the fuck is that? It's a movie where Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger is trying to get a toy for like 95% of the movie, but then he's the toy. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. <laughs> I mean, if Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> was the toy, I'd be... <laughs> I'm here to say she the women. <laughs> it's just a big vibrator, man. Vibrator man. Very nice. What's your favorite it's Christmas movie? It's terrible time. Yeah. I have <laughs> <to> <laughs> say. Sorry, favorite Christmas movie. My favorite one to like watch with people is Elf. Oh, that's a cute Christmas movie. But like movie. my favorite, like, you know, just like sit down me and the computer. I also like the Dallas. Grinch. I would have to go with like either like the Santa Claus or <sighs> Sorry, the new one's really bad. Yeah, the new I one sucks. It. It's really fucking terrible. It's a or series. like, oh, one of the good, a good Christmas with the cranks. That's oh, man. yeah, that's that like right? old school. Eh? That's I mean by not even far old. My I also think that's a little bit of a rough watch to be yeah, completely honest. That one's a meme. That one yeah. sucks, but it's f uh, funny to think about and watch. I yeah. like Jim Carrey's The Grinch. Do you want yes, that? Yes, The I Grinch like, is good. Like, also, not like. The best movie, whatever. I'm also a sucker for those old claymation movies. No. I I'm like the white Christmas. I'm in your ass. <laughs> Rudolph the five legged reindeer. <laughs> yes, Rudolph the five legged reindeer. Santa Claus is coming. Both both interesting watches as well. <laughs> interesting, but definitely not 
politically correct, mm, unfortunately. Mm, mm. Uh, or fortunately, one. I don't yeah. know. It's rough. How early do you start listening to Christmas music? Uh, the second Santa passes on Thanksgiving and gives the wave, you're allowed to play Christmas music. I think, personally. Some people think that Halloween ends and then all of a sudden it's Christmas. I like to think that there is Thanksgiving, but it's only the morning, only for the parade. <laughs> what about you? What do you think? Yeah. Sure. Wait, no. What's your thought? Seriously. Oh, I will literally... Once I'm like... Once it gets cold and it's... Oh, once it gets cold and it gets very bitter outside is when I decide it's time. So it's time now? Oh, hell Yeah. <laughs> Yesterday was like 30 like degrees. Like, it literally July. goes Christmas. from November 1st to, like, dis- November 23rd. Mm-hmm. What's the day before Thanksgiving? I think the 23rd. Yeah, 23rd. It's Christmas, then just 24th, and Black Friday, that's Thanksgiving, and then it's Christmas. <laughs> so we have similar thoughts. You just give the Thursday, Friday, because I'm yeah. like, it's okay if Santa passes on the parade. Mm. So that's Thursday morning. You know. But you give Thanksgiving oh, a shot. But that's always such, like, the nice vibe. Like, th- you're cooking Thanksgiving, like, dinner, and, like, you've got Christmas music playing in the background. Yeah, there's no, like, Thanksgiving songs, right? No. It's like, uh, turkey, turkey, gobble, gobble. Adam Sandler turkey song. Turkey, turkey, turkey. Yeah. Turkey for me, turkey for you. But there's not really, like, a onslaught of songs, no. like, Christmas. No. Oh. There's no, like, Mariah Carey's It's Goblin Time. We gotta make... <laughs> that would be sick if she did do that. I mean, <laughs> she's got... All they want oh, for, for Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. All I eat for Thanksgiving. Yeah, that song is like running up in the rearview mirror. All I want for Christmas. You it's can smell it. It's song. already in the air. Yeah. I can't. Things are I closer can't. than they may appear. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot wait till Santa passes on my TV screen. Mm. You the- are a Christmas girl. I yeah. am the. Oh. That's interesting. Wait, I actually forgot about something. For a very long time, it used to be a tradition that like we would go and watch the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. In, in the person? city? Yeah. Oh, your parents hate you. Yeah. <laughs> to bring you to the city every year? I, I don't think it was like, every year. Let me but just like, wrap her up in the world's thickest cocoon. It's but neat there to was see. A lot, there was a lot of times where I would end up going into the city. Oh, no. The deck. The deck went. To... Oh, yeah. I think your foot hit it, eh? We're That's back. Oh, we're back? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do do like switch 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 to the screen just so I see it when I'm editing. There we go. All right, cool, and then switch back. Okay, there we go. So, yes, my mommy hated in the me. parade. They hated you. Did they wrap you up? I can always always look so fucking cold. Oh, it's so freezing. during that parade. They're like, it's four degrees out anyway. Here's Charlie Brown. Feels like a bag of the pants. <laughs> <laughs> I actually knew someone last year who was in the Got parade. stuck in the Charlie Brown pants? <laughs> no! No! Oh, okay. <laughs> so if you did, she that would have been sick. That's crazy. She danced in the parade? Yeah. Oh, Damn. That's cool. That's cool. I always wanted to go, but like not an every year kind of thing. It's neat to see once. Yeah, I think that's like... But I see it on the TV every year, so I'm like, yeah, in yeah, person think- once. Ooh, look at those big balloons. I think once me and Ian decided, like, we have voices and we can, like, say that we didn't want to go, I think that's when it <laughs> No! We were like, no. We're and, too cold. And they're speaking. <laughs> and they're talking. No! <laughs> <laughs> no parade! <laughs> He's seven years old. Why did this take so long? <laughs> no parade! <laughs> Do you have any other, like, holiday traditions? Not like mm, like my limoncello on Christmas Eve, Carleco. anything like that that you're like, hmm. You guys do stockings or? Oh yeah, stockings are a big thing. You're not allowed to open any other presents except. No, you, yeah, you're not allowed to open any presents until you open the stocking first. Oh my god! Wow, really? Oh yeah. Hmm. But I was also a very big snooper, so I would wake up at like six a.m. And of course, like my stocking was right at the top of the staircase, so all I had to do was just crawl out of my room <laughs> and just, you know, see what I'm getting. And then I like knew what I was already getting, so like I could just like whip that thing out quickly so I can get to like the main stuff. Wow. Is it bad that I still do it to this day? Yeah. <laughs> Will I be doing that on Christmas? Hell yeah. Wow. I, w- I was a peaker like one year ever mm. in my life, and I regretted it. Wow. And I was like, hmm, I'm never doing that again. Damn. It's I don't like to be surprised. 
turns out, well, I mean, now I don't like any don't thing like, any like that. At the time, if it was like something cool or unique or that I didn't ask for, I actually thought it was kind of cool. Like if someone thought of something unique, most of the time, and I think this is the reason why I'm not like, I don't care about gifts as much anymore, is that the only thing I wanted at the time was video games because I didn't have money. Yeah. I was a kid with no money. And I couldn't get any video games. Mm -hmm. And Christmas time is the time of year where it's like, oh my god, mommy, if I ask people, they'll get me games? <laughs> now I have like a console full of games, and I don't want another game because I'm not going to be able to even fucking play it. <laughs> so I'm like, look, honestly, give me love. Give me companionship. It is Christmas. <laughs> yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, I was going to say something, but I wasn't. Oh, I'm say. sorry. What was I going to say? I'm sorry. We are talking about mm -hmm, games. Mm -hmm. Oh, unique things? I think I love that, like, me and my girls, that I love doing Christmas presents with. Because, like, mm. I have n absolutely no idea. It's not like we ask each other to get a get each other things, but, like, throughout the year, like, if we see, if, like, like, one of my friends, Sophia, loves to give gifts. And, like, if you mention, like, not even if you mention something, but, like, let's say you were to, like, say something quick in passing, she'll, like, always remember and she's like, that's what I'm going to get them for their birthday or that's wow. what I'm going to get that's them pretty for cool. Christmas. Huh. And I think that's so much fun because, like, you have absolutely no idea. Bless you. Like. Yeah, that's cool. So cute. I'm, I'm way more passive, like, and it sucks. But like I said, my Christmas spirit is like fleeting. I like the Halloween season like way more now. Yeah. And I don't mm -hmm. like the candy or giving candy. I just like, oh, like the spooky theme of it. You get to watch horror movies. You get to like that. I like. But <laughs> with Christmas, I've been like, yes, it's I got to get gifts for people. And <laughs> my wife was like, I want a bike. I was like, I bought you a bike. <laughs> I was like. I'm like, it's Jana as a heads up, like, I bought you this bike and it's not going to fit anywhere in the house. So it's going to be in the shed. And I can't wrap it because it's a big old bike. So that's, I'm like, Merry Christmas. I was like, anything else you want? <laughs> Just, here you go. I was like, one, two, two things. I, I like surprising her more for her birthday because Christmas is like an everybody thing. So it's like, yeah, you got to get it for the siblings yeah. and you have to get it for the parents and you have to get it for the kids. So I'm like, OK, well, here we go. But like birthday is something more special. You could do something unique, specific to the person. It's about that person. And you're like, here you go. Here you go. <laughs> Here's your fucking gift. <laughs> so even the, Matt, I was like, hey, Matt, I got you this chair. Christmas. I wasn't like, Matt, oh, what do you want for Christmas? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, got you this chair. Yeah. <laughs> that everybody loves. Yeah. <laughs> and he's not even sitting here. <laughs> How, How rude. How rude. I do love Christmas mm -hmm. because of the colors. The, like, just red, because of the colors. favorite color. I think that's ah, why it's just nails. Nails. Red is my favorite color. It's not. Is that like a girl? No, it's not. Yeah. Is, yeah no. Yeah, it is. Oh my god. Really? Red is my favorite color. Yeah. Why do I feel like I've never seen you wear red before? I have like red hoodies and stuff, and the plaid one yeah. I made. Mean. Hmm. <laughs> you have color. <laughs> Mostly. <laughs> you look at colorful clothes. Mostly, I wear, wear black. Yeah. yeah. Mo I usually wear black. A lot of black, but I love occasionally you spice it up. Color yeah, there's probably a podcast I did in a red hoodie or something. Probably. <laughs> and what about the holiday hoodie? Yeah. Uh, well, the holiday sweater, I should say. Yeah, you got the... Nah, nah. No, well, we're going to break in the song again. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think a lot of people don't even like the songs. Let me be real. I, think, I love the goddamn I think songs. fucking people who are like not super into the holidays turn on the radio and they're like, Fucking Christmas music. <laughs> Maggie, do you love that Here song it comes. Where it's about, like, the kid getting his sick and dying mom's shoes. Oh my, so can I buy these shoes? <laughs> but my mother, see, she's fucking dying, and these shoes yeah. are just her size. Is that your favorite song? <laughs> she fucking has cancer and shit. <laughs> and I know what by the time I get home, about, 
My mom will be really fucking dead. Yeah. <laughs> That's like the whole song. Yeah. He's just buying That's... your shoes for her to be buried in. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. mama. And in the song, he goes, Because my mom's going to see Jesus tonight. Oh, yeah. It's like, okay. <laughs> I would love the shop owner's like, Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> I know your mom. Oh, She's not God. going anywhere towards Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Not after what we did if last night. Mommy meets Jesus tonight. I hear that song. I'm like, next. I haven't heard that song in a long time, and I'm happy about that. That song's depressing. What's like- your favorite Christmas song? I do like EDM Christmas music. Though. What? No, I'll- Holidays. I'll play one. I'll play one. I'll play one. <laughs> Make sure it's 10 seconds. <laughs> Make sure it's 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite's Trans Siberian Orchestra. The because I drive, I'm like, I have to kill someone now. Grandma, yeah, I have to run over grandma. It's part of the season. We are gonna be claimed. Oh, what fun it is to fight a YouTube copyright claim. Yeah. It's gonna drop. Oh, wait, where's it gonna. Yeah. This is what you play when you're at the club on Christmas? Man, this sounds like this belongs right at That's- home on TikTok. <laughs> Did you hear that from TikTok? No, I've done that years ago. Jingle. I think I might have, like, danced to it or something. On yeah. TikTok? Where? <laughs> No, for like when I used to like. Hey guys, it's Santa Claus. <laughs> Let's go to the streets. <laughs> oh my god, have you ever been to Santa Con? No, no, no. Our friend's going this year. Oh, Schmark. Schmark. And I assume he's going to get sick there like I did at Legoland and he did at Rhode Island Comic Con. I always thought it would be fun to do it at Santa Con, but at the same time, I'm like, I don't want to leave my house in the cold. You want to come here, dress up as Santa, and we'll sure. both drink and watch Christmas movies? All right, that works. You want to do it too? Let's do it, Game? Santa Con. Yeah! And we can home. watch the Santa Claus. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, we just sit back, put our shirt over our belly. Yeah. Where's Santa Claus? <laughs> yeah. And then we could do like a at-home fake train where we all Oh puke. my God, can we all fake, uh, make gingerbread houses? Oh, cool. oh my God, I can't oh. wait to Did do that. Did you ever that. make oh a gingerbread house out of like the, the little I... crackers, the graham crackers with marshmallow fluff? Isn't that what we did, right? Did no! You? Real gingerbread houses. Gingerbread what? tastes like poop. I love gingerbread. Man, you are just a little just ball of Christmas. Not bad. I, You're like an ornament. I love Christmas. <laughs> I'm putting you up on the metaphorical tree. I can't. Oh my god, walking into the mall and just seeing the. Cr- oh, sorry. Oh my god. Port Jeff, their Christmas is beautiful. That's, Huntington. I'm have sorry. You, have you ever been to Huntington? Been there. It's so no, no, beautiful. I haven't. <laughs> no, I haven't. But the poor Jeff one is, it feels like you're in a Hallmark movie. Okay, I'm you like poor go, Jeff this year. Yeah, you literally go for their little Christmas fest and like it, it's awesome. Mm. And that was the, one of the few times where I went somewhere and I was like, this is what Christmas is supposed to be. Like this festive, everyone's happy, everyone's dancing in the streets and getting hit by cars. And it's beautiful. There's a woman trying to solve her romantic problems while looking for her estranged dad that went bet, missing so like 12 Love years ago. And then turns out he's Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah, it turns out he's Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, it is a Hallmark movie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now that I'm an up and coming <laughs> yeah, cookie writer. shop owner. Yeah, she's a cookie yeah, shop insert writer. Insert title here. <laughs> I haven't seen my dad in 15 years. Hmm. My, I wonder where he is. My dad you know, went missing I think it's that voice. That's like a TikTok right there. What? My Christian the, voice? Oh, I, I don't thought know, that was like a like, John Mulaney. It sounds Mulaney. like a TikTok, oh. you know, voice. John Mulaney. My name's John Mulaney, and I shit Christmas. I take a bowl, I snort the cocaine, and I'm shitting snow. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> true. I mean, he does love when it snows. <laughs> he loves making it snow. <laughs> <laughs> That's when he sneezes too, and he's got a <laughs> cannon full of them. Did I break you for the first time on this podcast? <laughs> I think I gotta go. Right. I think I gotta go.
How, how long does she have to be here for still? And like since we had that brief break, another three, five minutes. No, oh, sorry, God. Maggie, you're stuck with me. Sorry. <laughs> so you think my Chris Chan voice is just a TikTok like crowd pleaser? It could be. Think really? Think about the voice that we just did. <laughs> yeah, think about it. Think about it. <laughs> think about it. Guten <laughs> Tag. What's sorry. What's your? Oh I've... my God! I hate the snow. I hate the snow. I hate sledding. Snow, cold. Sledding is so fun. No. Sledding is so fun. No. I will tell. Who pushed you off the sled? I will tell you. I'm getting it. (laughs) I was three years old, okay? My father and my brother thought it would be the most amazing thing to just go sledding. I'm an itty bitty child. Teensy tiny. Yeah. My father put me on this sled Mm -hmm. and tells my brother, Ian, go down to the bottom and catch her. Pushes Ian, me. Go down to the bottom and be there <gasps> we have to catch her. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I was being your dad for a second. <laughs> but so, ready? Ed pushes me down. Mm-hmm. There's a bench. There's a goddamn bench. Okay. I hit my head on this damn <laughs> bench, right? Like, it was open. You were three? Yeah. I was a youngin', okay? okay? It was such an yeah. open field. Of course, I had to meet head-to-head with the bench, okay? <laughs> That's story number one. Story I can't not two. picture you accelerating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, daddy! <laughs> story number two. The same thing happened again. Ian, go down there. <coughs> go catch Maggie. There's a goddamn tree. Okay, you can't say go catch Maggie if he keeps throwing you into these benches and trees. That's the point. No wonder he can't catch you. He's like, oh. <laughs> Number three. Uh-huh. We're at the same park. Okay. Yeah. This time, we, you know, we learned we're not going to go near the benches. We're not going to go near the trees. Surprise went to the same park. Third time's a charm. A light baby. post. All the way at the end. My mother, mm-hmm. she's supposed to be catching me at the bottom. Okay. Yeah. Did, have we she got distracted that that's not by some problem? birds or something. We haven't established that that's not the problem. The catching you is not the problem. The problem is that you're getting pushed into yes. these objects. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Me, my brother and my cousin thought it would be a f- great idea if we all hold hands and go down together. Yeah. Okay? Somehow, <laughs> we all turned around and I went, I was, I, I was in the middle. We somehow shifted over. I went straight into the light post. I cannot picture in that situation like anime music playing and Ian doing like a super move because he saw he was going to fly. And he's just like, Maggie, go. And he just like fucking launches you into the pole. Like a Pokemon ball. Yeah, go, Maggie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So no sledding for me. I love sledding. Uh, first time I went, I was like 18. So I could direct myself when I went down there. <laughs> well, you know what? Um... <laughs> Must be nice. Yeah. And then I went to a resort and they had like this huge sledding thing and they had like little snow slides and it was fucking awesome. I, man, I have so many more holiday stories, but we're coming to the end of the podcast. I've, I've been snowboarding. I want to talk about, I wanted to talk about my experience with stock and stuffers, my up, oh, but we got no, I gotta, we gotta wait till, uh, next December or else we can't, we can't talk about Christmas. We mm. can talk it in the January episode. No, we can't. Yes, we can. <laughs> it won't be Christmas. I bet you we won't have anything planned anyway, so that, we'll just get actually, back to Actually, I was going to tell you about that, too. I was going to say, Maggie, you associate cold with Christmas, but it's colder after Christmas. <laughs> the months after Christmas oh, are disgusting. colder. Disgusting. Than Christmas. Like, that's... Fu- I fucking hate snow. I agree on that. Because when snow first falls and you look out, it's like, oh my god, it's beautiful. And, and then it but people have to fucking drive in it, and there's salt and shit all over it, and your car gets disgusted, and all of a sudden it's black, and you're like, why is it black snow? Why is it black snow? And no. Nope. Are you the girl from the Terrifier 2? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Anything you have to say to the audience about Christmas or about the holidays? Final thoughts? Yeah, baby. I love Christmas. And... Yes. Me. Maybe you'll find me wrapped up underneath your tree this year. Whoa. <laughs> then you put a sticker on it that says return to sender. <laughs> Boxing and you day, don't baby. have to worry where she came from. <laughs> Santa baby. Return Maggie back to her house. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My my thing is, hey, look, 
not everyone's together the holiday season. Sometimes you're by yourself. Make the most of it. Make a cup of hot chocolate. Watch some movies. If you don't like Christmas, watch something else. Just fucking get your mind off of that shit. Have fun. If you're with your families, enjoy your families. They might not always be here. So enjoy the moments you have with them. Because every little thing is special. But much love to you guys. Enjoy the holiday season however you need to. Much love. Uh, Kawaii. <laughs> Happy <then> holidays. <laughs> make sure to cancel Fanta Claus and Rudolph the Five-Legged Reindeer. Yeah, make sure to cancel, cancel those it. movies. Yeah, they're no good. They're bad. Yeah. Much love, guys. Peace out. We'll catch you next time. Mwah.